Hey guys, today we're gonna take a deep dive into HomeKit Secure Video. Now, this is not the same thing as works with HomeKit. So just because a camera supports HomeKit does not mean it supports HomeKit Secure Video. It's a little confusing, but we're gonna clear all that up today. We'll discuss all the features that you get with HomeKit Secure Video, the requirements, and exactly how it all works. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks so much for joining me today. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Shane and this channel is all about building an easy smart home using HomeKit with new videos released every Sunday right here. So today's video is a part of my HomeKit 101 series here on the channel where we're discussing all things HomeKit from the ground up. This series is aimed to give you everything you need to know in order to get you started building your smart home with HomeKit. So if you're still a little unsure of what HomeKit is or how it works, be sure to check out that first video in the series to get a good understanding of HomeKit. Today, like I said, we're talking all about HomeKit Secure Video. Now, before I begin, I want to differentiate between HomeKit Secure Video and works with HomeKit. As mentioned earlier, just because a camera works with HomeKit does not mean it supports HomeKit Secure Video. So what's the difference? Well, when you buy a new camera that says works with HomeKit, all that means essentially is that you can add the camera to the Apple Home app and access the live camera feed in the Home app alongside your other HomeKit accessories. These cameras will usually include a motion sensor or maybe even other sensors that are also exposed to HomeKit and can be used in your HomeKit automations. But you do not get any recording options through iCloud or any other things like facial recognition or the ability to differentiate between people, animals, or vehicles, you know, within HomeKit. So HomeKit Secure Video is a feature that these HomeKit cameras may or may not have. So you'll have to really look into the specs of the camera to see if it supports HomeKit Secure Video. So what is HomeKit Secure Video? Well, it's a feature that was first introduced by Apple in 2019. It's basically a way for your cameras to securely record and save footage in iCloud. So with most cameras, uh, video is sent up to the cloud to be analyzed to determine, for example, if the motion was a person or an animal or just a leaf blowing in the wind. With HomeKit Secure Video, your footage is all analyzed in your home on your HomeKit hub using on-device intelligence to determine if people, pets, or cars are present. Then it's encrypted and securely sent to the iCloud where no one, not even Apple, can see it. So your recordings are stored for up to 10 days using your existing iCloud account and these recordings do not count against your iCloud storage limit. So when important activity is detected, you and anyone that you share your home app with will receive a notification that lets you view the clip. Recorded video is available to view for 10 days right in the home app. So now that we understand what it is and how it works, what are the requirements? Well, of course, you need a camera that supports HomeKit secure video. And again, just because it supports HomeKit does not necessarily mean it supports HomeKit secure video. So be sure to check on that. You'll also need a HomeKit hub being either an iPad, a HomePod, HomePod mini, or an Apple TV. As mentioned earlier, this hub is required to do all the processing of your footage. And finally, you'll need a supported iCloud plan, either the 200 gigabyte or the two terabyte plan. The 200 gigabyte plan will give you 10 days of recording for one camera, and the two terabyte plan gives you 10 days of recording for up to five cameras. Yes, that is the limit at this time. We cannot have more than five cameras recording footage in iCloud. Hopefully that'll change in the future. Now you can have more than five HomeKit cameras in the Home app. However, you're only allowed to enable up to five to record. So, you know, anything past those five will have to be set to streaming only. Now let's take a look at all the settings available to us. And this is pretty much the same for any camera that supports HomeKit secure video. All right, so if I tap the settings on my camera here, you can of course, change the name, you can change the room that that camera is located in your HomeKit home. 
You can see which accessories are also exposed to HomeKit with your camera. So again, this is gonna vary depending on the camera. This particular camera also includes a occupancy sensor, a motion sensor, and a light sensor, which can be utilized in automations if you want. You can choose to include this camera in your favorites or not. You have here some automation options or suggestions. You can turn that on if you like, and you can also create a new one right from here. Of course, you can also do this from the automations tab in the home app. Notifications. You can allow those snapshots in the no notifications or turn it off if you want. You can get notified if the status of your camera changes. So when the camera changes from one mode to another, whether it's streaming only or allow recording, things like that, you can get notified for those types of changes. You can get notifications when the camera goes offline. So this can be helpful if you wanna see if your camera is staying connected to HomeKit and to the network, or if you're having a lot of connection issues, you can choose to turn off notifications completely on this phone. And here we have some other options. We can receive notifications only during specific times, like during the day or at night. I'll keep mine set to any. And then you can also choose to receive notifications, say only when I am home or only when I'm not home, when nobody is home, things like that. I like this set to when I'm not home, that way I won't get notifications for this particular camera if I'm just sitting on my front porch. Uh, I'll only get notified when I'm not home. And this last option, we can choose to get notifications when any motion is detected or only when a clip is recorded. So this is beneficial because you can actually determine whether you want to record all motion or maybe just people or vehicles or animals. So if you have it set to just record people, then you'll only get notifications only when that camera detects a person and records a clip. And next we can look at our recording options now here. Uh, we can turn the camera off completely. We can use it only to detect activity. So this would be beneficial if you only want to use that camera for say motion automations or things like that. And you don't want to stream or record. You can stream only and you can stream and allow recording. And you can change these to be different for when you are home and for when you're away. So that's pretty nice. If we tap on more options, you can see here, we can determine what types of clips are being recorded. So you can of course choose any motion is detected, but for me, since this is near a road, I like to choose only when people and animals are detected. And you can allow the camera to record audio if you want and erase the camera's recordings all from here. Now let's go back. Next up, we have face recognition. HomeKit will actually use your Photos app to recognize familiar faces. Uh, this is great for things like doorbells especially or cameras on your front porch. You also have an option to identify recent visitors that aren't in your Photos library. So you can see here, I have my Photos library right here. Of course, you can turn it on or off, but I have my Photos library here. So with this, you can choose who has access to see the names from people in your Photos library. I chose everyone in my home for this. And then below that you have uh, the names of people that are known to the household. So these are people that may not necessarily be in your photos app, but your camera still recognizes. You can go in and name these people so that next time they come to your front door or in front of your camera, the camera will recognize them. And below that we have recents. Now these are people in my home a lot of the times, but if it recognizes somebody that you don't know, you can go in here and you can add a name and I know this person is already in here. It's actually my daughter. So I'm gonna choose her name right there. All right, now going back, we have select activity zones and you can see here for this front porch, I actually have a zone selected already and you can of course change this. You can add multiple zones. You can invert those zones if you want. So this way you'll only get notifications and record footage when um, motion is detected within that certain motion zone. Now let's talk about reviewing and sharing your stored video clips. Okay, so this is the live stream here. 
Now, first of all, of course, certain cameras you can do two-way talking, some cameras you cannot within HomeKit, so that is something to check out there. That's not gonna be the same for all of them, but if you can, like this one, you'll see the talk button right here. You could push that to talk to somebody on the front porch, tap it when you're done. Here you can turn the volume on or off for that camera. Now below, we're gonna see this timeline here that we can scrub across, okay, and uh, you can see these little icons. It'll tell you if it's a person, animal, or whatever. And you can see here that it did detect some people. So that's why you see that person icon right there. Along the top, we actually have a calendar where we can scroll back. Now, again, you have up to 10 days recording for these HomeKit Secure video cameras. Uh, so 10 days of re you know recordings there that are stored. Uh, when you're reviewing, you can skip around to different days. You can actually pinch and zoom on the timeline to kind of zoom in a little bit better. And you can even scrub along the timeline if you're trying to look for something specific. So that can be helpful there as well. To share a recording, you're gonna tap that share button right there. It'll highlight the one, the current one. You can tap next. And then choose how you want to share it. I'm gonna cancel that cancel this button right here will actually pull up all the other accessories that are close by so this can be really helpful say if somebody is at your front door on the back porch whatever you want to turn on a light lock a door unlock a door you can do that really quick and access those other accessories right from that button as well now one thing to mention is that HomeKit doorbells with that support HomeKit secure video pretty much have all the same features and uh, controls except you may just have a few other options in here like for example uh, the chime doorbell I can turn this off to turn off the physical doorbell chime in my house see if I go in here to the notifications you can see since this is a doorbell I have the ability to turn on or off chimes on the home pause and choose which home pause to turn off but other than that essentially everything is the same because that is a HomeKit secure video camera now in your home settings you can actually control who has access to your camera so I'll tap on my wife here if I tap on that I can give her access to either stream only or stream and view recordings now you may want to know what cameras support HomeKit secure video well I'll put links to all the ones that I can think of below and I'll try to keep that updated over time they are affiliate links, so if you use them, that will help out the channel at no extra cost to you. Now, I can tell you that some of my personal favorites, you know, over the past year or so have been Circle View cameras, both the original Circle View and the Circle View doorbell. Uh, for me, both have worked really well with HomeKit. And some others that I like have been the Akara G2H and the Eve Cam. All, again, all have worked really well in HomeKit for me but there are more and more cameras coming out that support HomeKit Secure video, many of which I have done reviews on and I'll continue to as they come out. So, you know, check out that HomeKit cameras playlist on the channel for more of those. And if you have a favorite camera that works great in your HomeKit setup, please drop a comment below and let us all know which ones work for you and why you like them. Don't forget to hit that like button. That really helps out the channel. Subscribe if you haven't and hit that bell icon for new HomeKit videos every Sunday right here. Also consider hitting that join button below for more information on becoming a channel member for five bucks a month. You know, with that, you get access to some cool perks like behind the scenes and access to our members only Discord group. Thanks so much for joining me. And until next time, we'll see y'all later.